work together. He's doing a lot on his own. As they come down through the rock garden, there we see Schurter, like clockwork, on the inside, passes Absalom, does it so easily, and gets a good few bike lengths gap on him. See, he's already leaving the building as Absalom hits the bottom and Cool Harvey. There's Hermita now. We can see the photographer's getting set up. Looking a little bit awkward there. But through nicely. And now we see Fontana. So Fontana finding himself in a tricky position, riding the lefty fork, and he's got a... Well, he rode that beautifully. That was great. Yeah, rode that beautifully. So he's picked up a little bit of time just on that section alone on Hamida. And uh, he looked very comfortable. If you're tired in the upper body, you can't ride like that through that section. So he's still looking pretty strong. I watched Absalom train, <coughs> training on this section earlier in the week, and he was having all sorts of difficulty on the, the left-hand turn halfway down. Just couldn't get it right. Couldn't gain, keep any momentum going to get over those rocks. Yes. It flattens out there, and... This, the rocks are still too big to get a pedal rev in, so he was really struggling. You see Todd Wells now splitting the Spanish up, so he's getting right under the mix in the top 10 now. Stefan Tempia, the, uh, the Bianchi rider, also doing pretty well here today. And uh, I was quite impressed by Lejaretta. You see him riding number 22, was getting passed there by Stander, but uh, Lejaretta, rider that um, isn't always at the front of the field, but wait and see if they went out too early. Plate number 21 coming down, Carlos Coloma, the other Spanish, well, yeah. You cannot stop right in the middle of that. You're going to have all sorts of trouble. So Lucas, oh, Lucas Flukiga almost going over the handlebars there again. The two brothers now trying to pick up some time as they get into the second half of the race. So I think, you know, we saw both Matthias and Sauser suffering on that first lap. That was such an explosive start. They both had the first line that meant they could warm up to the last minute. But it was just such a dramatically fast start and it can catch you unawares. Absolutely. I think never as the term momentum is your friend has been more applicable <laughs> than this section here. I think if you lose your speed, you just stop dead and you never get going either. Well, if we were to look at uh, the strongest nations in the top 20, it would have to be Plate 19 going through there now. That's Todd Wells in the national champion's jersey. Barry Standard dropping back. Well, that'll be disappointing for the low crowd. You see one of the red shirts there on the bottom right of the screen saying, go Barry. So uh, they'll be disappointed to see that. The two brothers now going through, Lucas and Matthias Flukiga. The Trek World Racing, well, Luke getting a little bit untidy there, just balking a little bit. You cannot afford to lose momentum on that section there. We saw a lot of riders go over the handlebars and into the crowd there. Sebastian Scheck, one of the media there on the side. In the on the attack, two different lines coming down towards the Rock Garden. And we see Fontana rode this beautifully last time around. And, well, there's the problem. Came in with too much speed and couldn't do anything about it. And almost T-boned the fourth place rider, Hamida, and now loses a lot of time. That will unsettle him. He's had to run down there in his Mavic Yellows and uh, looked a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, he had such a fast line as well. Now, Hamida would have so seen this faster. just the last minute yeah. and he couldn't have done anything about it. That was not a tactic or any. He just had to commit to his line. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So we don't have the four cross commissaires on this section, so we're okay. Both riders will get through. Uh, Stander now making a bit of a gap on his group there. Stefan Tempier following in behind now. And 22 there, Lecaret and Todd Wells. Well, getting collected there by Manuel Fermik coming through at a charge as well. So those guys coming in on the inside line will T-bone someone who's cutting across. For and uh, Carlos Coloma, 21, sitting in behind him. Coloma was 11th last time through. Marot was sitting back in 17th. So he's a rider on the move, Maxime Marot, teammate. Of comes down to these guys knowing they're coming around for the bell lap at the end of this lap. And, uh, well, we can see Shudder now trying to attack on the inside. Trying to attack on the inside on the climb and take the right hander just at the top of this climb. But uh, not pulling a gap, just taking the lead. A real cat and mouse his lead as the all time winner of cross country World Cups. But once again, Shorter had the lead coming into this section. He's gone for the faster line and he will make up even more time. This could be decisive. This could be decisive as we come around to the bell lap. Look at that, the distance. And, and it's rattled Absalon. It has absolutely rattled him because he knew that was happening. And you can see he lost, he picked them up next, just what sort of lead he's been able to do as we get into the quarry section. But we watch Yaroslav called Harvey come through here now. So the last win by Julian Absalom was round three last year. And uh, we had six watch now to a slow-mo. And you'll see as Nino Schurter, watch that perfect line, perfect position off the back of the seat there. Switches round. Well, he runs a little bit wide there, and the other guys are switching across to come onto the inside, our left-hand side, which is what Absalon does here. And you watch him get caught up. Is it the rear wheel? It's the front wheel gets into a little V there, and it just rattles him. Foot comes out straight away, almost predicting that that was going to happen to himself. And he 
eases back onto the bike and continues on. So, Barry Standard now tackling that ride. That does look to me like the faster line. And then Cadell Evans has won eight and Rune Hoyerdahl eight. So, the only big name of current times right out there now, really Julian Absalon and Christoph Sauser. Uh, the rest of the guys have only won a few World Cups. So, I know that Nina Schott will be very happy to build on his list. Jose Hamidas won six. So, uh, wouldn't be too surprised if we see Hamida add to that list this year. But Julian Absalon, well, the body language there through that section looked pretty resigned to the fact that he's not over by any means. Here's Fontana coming down through the rock garden. He did ride this beautifully a couple of laps ago. Again, well, he went close to being uh, very forward on the handlebars on the run down, but he managed to hold it nicely. Leheretta not as proficient last time I saw him through. Yes, he battles as Tempia takes him on the inside. So now it's Tempia's turn to try and bridge that eight-second gap. So Leheretta really battling there. Fumik perfect through there. So uh, he and now this is a slow-mo of him going through. Let's see if he had any particular problem going through this particular section. And uh, so far, so good. Oh, and over the handlebars. A huge dive there for Barry Stander. Well, his front wheel just got caught up. Well, that's spectacular. And I don't know if we can see that again, but that was really really spectacular for Barry Stander he's lucky not to have done a collarbone or something worse there because that was really full flight over the handlebars on a very